Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. Now, if you don't know how to do this in Lightroom, then I guarantee this is gonna save you so much time. Let's get to it. Now this is for everybody who's using Lightroom CC, which is the one that's in the Creative Cloud, which is all online, which I don't understand why people are still using the classic version. However, if you do recall the classic version, you'll remember that there was a little button, a magic button called Sync. And that just was like mind blowing. All you did was edit one photo, select a load of others that were in a similar batch, press Sync, boom all your edits were copied across to each and every single photo which meant that you didn't have to copy paste copy paste copy paste it saved so much time however when people moved over to the creative cloud version for some reason i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that this feature wasn't available and it still isn't like via a button until now which is what i'm going to show you if we have a look at these examples we've got here a recent shoot that i did at some sort of eye clinic so i've edited this the way that i wanted it to using one of my presets <laughs> available link below shameless plug so if we just turn that on and off you can see the before and the after and i hope you agree that it's much better so before what you would need to do is probably press Control and c then move to your next one Control and v let's face it that, i mean that just takes forever the other alternative is select the one that you've edited go over here to the three little dots click on there copy edit settings then simply select all the photos that are similar in that range again back to the three little dots paste to entire selection give it a few minutes it will think it over get yourself a cup of tea let me check out my presets <laughs> and voila as you can see every single photo is now edited in the same way as the one that i started with so one of the main reasons people used to complain about the creative cloud version when they were moving over from the classic or what stopped them from moving over to the creative cloud version was the lack of features and some one of these features was being able to synchronize all of your photographs with not just like what we've just done where it's just the main edit but also the extra edits so your masking healing your crops all those things appeared not to be able to be done in creative cloud but they were in the classic because people were staying on the classic version so if we look at this example here we've got this ecom right which ecom is the most boring type of photography i mean if anybody who does it will know exactly what i'm talking about anyway let's move on so here you can see if i turn it on and off there's a slight edit to that but also what we have is a subject mask which has additional edits to the masked area because i want to separate that from the white background and to be able to copy this edit across the range of photographs that i've got which obviously you can see at the bottom i've got quite a lot of these photos all very similar and i want to copy and duplicate that exact edit just across them all just to get it done so what i would need to do is press Control and c which would copy the mask then select all of my items i've just selected a few then go to photo and then go to up update ai settings sorry in 33 photos so those selected photos will then have the updated ai settings which is the masked the subject mask but we don't want to do that because we've got this which i'm going to show you now we go back to our original photo which is all edited over here can you hear my computer like it's about to take off ridiculous honestly this is another reason people don't like adobe creative cloud you've got all this downloading going on from the from the internet and it just sounds like a rocket ship taking off so let's just wait a couple of seconds for this to calm itself otherwise this video is ruined kiyama yeah boy do 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 How's your week been? Yeah, that was all right. Should really get myself an M1 or an M2 or an M3. Can't afford it though, but if you buy some of my presets below, link in the description, I might be able to upgrade. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select our edited photo and we're gonna go over to these three little dots. Then it says, choose edit settings to copy. Now this is the golden goose. This is the unicorn. This is the baby. You click on this here, right? It gives you a little bit of a menu. And this is where you can choose what you want to copy across to the rest of your photos. I mean, it's game changing, absolutely game changing. So on this, I want to select the mask. Because if you select this here, as you can see, I've got one mask, select that. Everything else I want to copy, such as my exposure, color grade, all that sort of stuff, effects, detail, blah, 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 blah. Press copy, then simply select the rest of your photos back to the three little dots paste to entire selection again boom in fact wait a minute not quite boom hit merge boom sit back relax get a cup of coffee tea whatever you're into go browse the internet check out my website whatever just wait a few moments 
Oh, it's this cat hairs just flying everywhere. Alfie, where? You were beating in my background the whole time. It's a cat. You're ruining my set. God, it's gonna make the jump cuts an absolute nightmare. Thanks a lot for this. I do a lot of jump cuts as well. It's gonna be a cat flying about. You're gonna get epilepsy. How long has he been there? Nightmare. Anyway, I'm still working on the set. I mean, I've shifted things around because we recently had a baby. I know, thank you. Congratulations. Um, I was like facing that wall and everything was set up. So you probably don't recognize this set. It is what it is. There's a big shadow here. A few moments later. And just like that, all edited across. We'll just go to the next one. Boom. Next one. Boom. Boom. Let's have a look at our mask. And the mask's there. Absolutely game changing. Example number three, a little stop motion. Again, using the exact same technique. I've already made my edits. We just turn that on and off. He's gone. All right, so if you do, if you see any more jump cuts where there's a cat, behind me and then in the next clip there isn't a cat and then there's a cat again it's because I messed up and I've duplicated clips. Right I think we're just gonna have to go for it out way. I'm sorry if there's a buzzing noise but I'm gonna have to sort this out it's driving me crazy. Right so we've got example number three here which is a little stop motion and obviously we want to remain consistent throughout the stop motion so you don't see all these flashes and jitters whenever you play it back so everything needs to be uniform and as you can see over here we have our mask similar to the last one but this time we've used a few different object selection tools so different parts of it are selected as different objects and might have slightly different edits so again we go over to the three little dots. We go to choose edit settings to copy. Little magic button. Clip that. Mask. Check in mask one, which is the only mask that we've got. Again, copy. Select all your items. Three little dots. Paste to entire selection. Hit merge. Sit back. Get another cup of coffee. Check out the affiliate links below. <laughs> oh man. Honestly, times are hard. Times are hard. Right, are you are you are you are you taking the mic? Honestly, are you are you having a laugh? What are you doing? I'm working. You live here rent free. Try to pay the bills. Does this all the time. Puts his ass in my face. Why? Why do cats do that? I think he's just staying there for the time being. As you can see, all the edits. Just, just move your bum. All the edits copied across to each and every one. Boom. Oh, that wasn't a signal for you to get up. Sit down. Honestly, you're blocking the camera, man. I'm the talent, not you. You've been fed. You're, pre you're pressing buttons now. Sit, sit. We're getting rid of him. So there we are. Example number three, sorted. And also put an example of the final product on the screen. Example number four, exactly the same thing. However, I have a little trick up my sleeve on this one. Again, another stop motion, we quite like those. But not only do we have our subject mask, we've got object and subject, but we also have a bit of healing going on. So if we click the healing, you can see all these little dots. You know, there's like hair going on. Turn them on and off. You'll see. I tried to tidy it up. So what we want to do is, we want to, might as well zoom out, select our image, three dots, choose edit settings to copy. We want to choose the mask, but we also want to choose the healing. Then press copy. I think you get the idea now, don't you? Select all those, three little dots, paste to entire selection. Hit merge. And again, just wait a little bit longer. Maybe this time you can buy a hat. Link in the description. <laughs> get yourself a gift. Or you can just hit the like button. It's free, in it? Speaking of free, I got free mince pie today from Greg's. <sighs> I love a Greg's mince pie. And then we have it all done. Every single photo edited, not showing quick enough because my computer's too slow. The same as the first, with all the little dots missing as well. Let's have a look at the healing. Marvellous. Let's go on to example number five, shall we? Product photography, but this time we're doing some focus stacking. You're gonna have exactly the same photos, but just a different shift in focus. And yeah, product photography, e-com, honestly, nightmare. Before and after, as you can see, an amazing edit there. <laughs> so each one of these photos will be at a different focus plane so that I can create a stacked image from this later on. But obviously I wanna maintain the same edits across each one so that it works out better. And I wanna save time. The main goal from this video is to save you time because if I've got this for God knows how many clients and not just this one product for that client, like. 50 products, 50 angles, whatever it is. You want to speed up your workflow as quick as you can, right? So what we have here, we have the exact same thing as before. We've got a mask, you know, we might have some healing going on. Yeah, we've got some healing going on as well. So if we just do it before and after, you can see there's a few dust specks there and you know, that little mark there, this bit of dust over here. But also what we might want to do, we might want to adjust the crop. I mean, not the actual crop, but maybe the rotation, because as you can see, it's not quite square or 
vertical or in line or whatever. So I'm just going to adjust that there to what I think looks straight. Enter. Same thing as before. Three little dots. Choose edit settings to copy. Don't know why I'm American. We want to choose the mask. We want to choose healing. And we also want to choose crop. Copy. Select the remaining images. Three little dots again. Paste to entire selection and merge. Wait a few seconds, this should be a lot quicker because we've only got a few photos. So you can still, maybe you can check out now, you know, you can hit the checkout, maybe PayPal or something like that is pretty quick. Anyway, right, we're done. Let's have a goosey gander. Each and every one exactly the same with exactly the same crop. Yep. Exactly the same healing. Yep. And the mask. I mean, come on. If this isn't worth a like, you know, a comment below just to tell me how good I am. And I don't know what is. So that's it. Super quick, super easy. I'm still not sure why people are still holding on to Lightroom Classic. If you know why, tell me below because I have no idea. I absolutely love the Creative Cloud version. I love being able to access my photos wherever I am in the world, edit them and also on my phone. It's fantastic. And now that we've got these sort of features where you can just copy and paste different aspects of the edit as well, which is even better than I think the sync button was. I don't even think the sync button allowed you to do different parts of the edit. But this, you can just pick and choose whatever you want and paste it across the entire range. It saves you so much time and it is just, oh, game changing. Absolutely game changing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you already knew this, which I'm guessing quite a lot of you might have already known this, but you won't be watching this video if you did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, along with tutorials, gear reviews, discussions, everything creative, then please consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of those new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And yeah. I hope the cat wasn't too distracting and the noise and the shadow but the, you know it's a work in progress i'll fix it at some point i'll fix it at some point right peace out a town down yeah.